what, what do you guys think about the week so far? What do you, what, what's going on? I mean, we, it was CPI. I was actually out, but obviously I was trading. I pay attention to it. CPI. We've been struggling a little bit. Huh? We've been struggling a little bit. I've been struggling a little bit. Um, yeah. I've been struggling a lot because I've had some bad, really bad pairs trades on. And I need, I need a, I need a gift. I need a little bit of reversal in some of these um, moves. Like, you know, even this morning with the, with the yield curve, you know, the bonds are down small, but the, the twos and tens are down big. I was going to talk to you guys about that. I mean, it seems like it's uh, what it's, it's inverting more again. I mean, it's, it seems no, like it, it's, 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 yeah, it's flattening more. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It and seems we're like down a- to the point where, I mean, we're not, we're not at the levels we were at, you know, whatever it was uh, six months or a year ago, yeah. but we're definitely near, we're nearing the lows. Yeah, it it hasn't had an uptick. I'm just using the tens forward slash ten uh, y and the twos here, and you can see how the, the again you move the decimal point one one over, and you can see that the ten yield is point three seven, and the two yield is point four six, trading just about ninety bips under. Um, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a huge move. I I thought we got to a hundred last time. We or did. Something. No, we we did. We did. Um, freaking uh, like in, in in March, the beginning of March before SVB, we're at a hundred. Yeah, before it was cut in half, right? To about fifty or so, and then we've yeah. come back down now to about ninety. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think you got to have it on here. But who knows? It right. hasn't worked yet. Do you guys do a ratio with that or no? You just do one. Yeah, one. I do. If you're doing what Tony just showed, the yields. If you're doing yields, you do not do a ratio. Those are one to one. Right. But most people don't trade yields. If you're using the actual products, like I'm using the actual two year, 10 year, then you trade it's two to one. Yeah. And if you're wondering why is it two to one, that's just vol adjusted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if you're using the, the interest rate products, like we used to have on the small exchange or like they have at the CME now, those are all one to one. Yeah. Um, you're talking about these moves. I assume you're talking about, uh, well, hell, I mean, it's, first of all, did you know yesterday was the largest SPX call volume buying day ever? I didn't know. I did, I just found this out a little while ago. And apparently 67% of it was zero DTE and one DTE. Which so, is really um, interesting because you don't hear anybody complaining about the zero and one DTE uh, <laughs> moving right. the market higher. Right. <laughs> But there's the we looked last night at the call skew versus put skew in the indexes, and usually where the puts are about twice as expensive as the calls, the puts right now are basically the same as the calls. The call, the puts might have like a like a couple of pennies more of cost, but but they basically go, going close to one to one. And the really interesting thing last night I thought was in Adobe, the Adobe calls were five times more than the puts. I was just about to mention that. <laughs> yeah, and Adobe inside the expected uh, move, right for for earnings. Um. Yeah, I think so. I mean, what yeah. Bucks? I mean, no, well yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but I'm just saying the calls. The calls we looked at them yesterday. The calls were I've never seen in a stock like Adobe the calls five times as expensive as the puts. It also had like a twenty five dollar move heading into earnings. Um, oh yeah, yes. yes, and a fifty dollar I mean, expected move yesterday. Yeah, so it seems like we're seeing this all around, right? And I don't know, honestly. So what I've been doing over the it's last called froth, it is called froth. Um, what I have been doing though is basically call calendars for the last like month, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's it's worked well. I mean, honestly, like, uh, and I've been going further upside, uh, which is crazy, of course. But I've just been playing along with the market. It's I've been risking small to sort of see how these things are going to work out. So. Microsoft, for example, when it's like 318, I was going 330, 340, 350. And that's mm-hmm. kind of the way I've been surviving these last couple of weeks. So other than that, I'm, I want to obviously, like most people, get short everything, right? Like, I mean, the way it looks, but I've been playing the game so far. Yeah, it's hard. It's if you if you stay small and you're pretty objective, you can play the game. As soon as you get the least bit opinionated, the game goes out the window. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, a little frustrating for my man. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't be talking from experience or anything like that, would you? Um, <laughs> I mean, well, you know what? It's either that or you kind of just hang on the sidelines, which is kind of boring to do in a market like this. Right. I mean, oh, no, no. You, we're yeah. never we're never ever, ever, ever on the sidelines. Right. Right. So, I mean, so you mean tell me there's nothing you're interested in being slightly long now? Nothing at all? Um. D- d- yeah, there's a lot of things. I'm, I'm fine being long the Russell here. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I'm absolutely fine being long small cap stocks. 
I'm fine being long financial stocks. I'm fine being long, you know, some digital assets stuff like Coinbase. I have no problem with all that stuff. Um, I'm long some I'm long some stocks that have been beaten down like Target. You know, Target hasn't beaten down. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, I back? mean, some of those things I'm completely fine with. I'm just, you know, I'm not fine with being long NVIDIA or Microsoft. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> my Target and Bitcoin, both of those, right? They're separate, they're separate situations. What do you make of those? Why they're so beat down? Well, Target was just a stupid, you know, um, uh, stupid anti-gay campaign. Is that and, really what it was? I see. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, that's all it was. I wasn't sure if that's what it was or not. Is that really what I didn't? Yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah, Target yeah. recently, and I yeah. was thinking about this. So, um, so I thought that was a joke. That's why I bought Target. And then Bitcoin, you know, it's different. I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I've come full circle. I'm a believer in, I'm a believer in digital assets because I think the technology is um is here to stay i just don't know if you're going to see you know i mean there's no question the blooms off the rose as far as being the shiny new toy the shiny new toy in the world is ai and ai is you know is a gazillion times the size already of you know digital assets but i think digital assets are here to, the technology is here to stay i don't know man i mean i think i think so I think it's going to be super valuable and the technology here to stay. Just when, whenever the regulators figure out what to call the different assets, fine. But let's just get on with it already. It's, 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 we've already wasted so much time and money on this. I completely agree. And again, I mean, I'm trading it that way, right? Like I'm long these call calendars and Microsoft and NVIDIA and AMD. There's times though, you know, like yesterday, I'm in the bar with this dude. And this dude that just, doesn't sound good, Jamal. <laughs> in a bar with this dude. What are you talking about? Is your and, wife now? <laughs> you know what? Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, this guy is talking to me about everything AI, and I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> right? Like, uh oh, it's just kind of interesting. You know, you're starting to see some of that the signs of the fraud. I don't know yeah. if that pullback or if it means like it's over. I, no, I, I don't think it's over. I think it's just pullback. Yeah, I think it's just pulled back too. That's what I believe. I mean, I kind of, you know, I, again, I've been trading it that way and I, I enjoy it. I mean, this has been crazy to watch the market do what it's do. And again, you're hearing things about the largest call volume and you're seeing the way that the market is sort of pulling back overnight, but then moving higher the next day. And it just seems like a dream that what we saw in March with these regional bank stuff, like that was quick and it's over. So I don't mind being long. That's like that's and that 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 whole regional bank thing didn't surprise me at all that that's over. I think what would surprise me is how much more staying power this this current market has, you know, in the, especially the Nasdaq. That's what would surprise me. Fair. Everything goes to extreme, doesn't it? At some point. Time. Yeah. Yeah, usually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, big fads at some point in time, they all go to extreme for sure. All right. Um, I am I am around next week and you guys are not is uh, I'm not in charge, by the way. I'm not trying to advocate for that. I'm just asking who is. Is there somebody who's in charge? In case something <laughs> um, goes wrong? We're we're, we're actually the same person that's in charge every week. But hey, this is a social experiment. What we're doing is we're leaving and then we're leaving the cameras on and we're waiting to see who actually steps up to be in charge. <laughs> And then so we, and is, then, and then we get rid of that person. Oh, of course, of course. We just want to see, <laughs> want to see who the, you know, we just want to see who steps up. <laughs> no, then we have the person killed for sure. That's right. That's right. That's I, right. I've stepped up in the past before in life, and it doesn't go well. So I'm not going to do it. So just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody's got to somebody's got to feed the uh, feed the children this week. Okay, so somebody's got to step up. That, that happened. You know what? It's like that meme I've seen before. Look, I just magically show up, and the food is there. It's amazing. <laughs> I come home, and like magically, my clothes are washed and clean. I don't even know how it's done, but it gets done. Don't worry. These things take care of themselves. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. That's all I got, boys. Good talk. All right. To you. That's awesome. Cool. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> We're going to take a quick 90 second break. We got even the SPs up 970. We got NASDAQ up 52 and change. We got Russell up two. The Dow up 44. They're all up around the same on a percentage basis. And we still have volatility staying unchanged. We'll be back in 90 seconds. We got more Tasty Live at the opening bell next.